Let's talk a little bit about Nintendo Switch to external memory, specifically micro SD express cards, because recently I was able to get my hands on two different 512 gigabyte cards by two different vendors. The first one by Lexar is the Play Pro. It's rated for read speeds of up to 900 megabits a second and write speeds of up to 600 megabits a second. The other card is by SanDisk, and this one, also a 512 gig card, is rated for up to 880 megabits a second on the read side and up to 650 megabits a second on the write side. Now, we're not going to talk about pricing just because it's so volatile right now. These cards are new, so it keeps going up and down, and let's not even talk about the scalpers in this realm. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but because I've got both of these, I wanted to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, and my findings were pretty kind of surprising. Um, so this video is going to have chapters. Feel free to skip around. But the first thing that I want to explain here is usable space, because what I found is the Lexar, while rated as a 512 gigabyte card, when I put this into my Mac Studio, and it's completely formatted with nothing on it, it is showing a total capacity of 500.37 gigabytes with available 500.34 gigabytes. That's, you know, in line with what I would expect. Uh, but this is where it gets interesting. On the SanDisk side, uh, it comes in and reads that it only has a capacity of 489.68 gigabytes with only 489.66 gigabytes of total usable space. So it's like nine gigs less than the Lexar. And in terms of the Switch 2, that, that's kind of a big deal because some of the games that you're going to download, that could be a game, that could be a couple of games from the eShop. So I don't know necessarily why it has nine gigs less than the Lexar. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, the other thing that I want to call out about this, and this is one of those where it's not a super scientific sort of thing. You're just going to have to take my word for it. As I went through testing these cards for read speeds, for write speeds, um, I did notice after powering down, this Lexar one, tend to, it tends to feel a little bit warmer to the touch when compared to the SanDisk. And I have no idea if that's because SanDisk, as you see on the front here, is using this thing that they call Thermadapt. So if that's the case, I guess it's possible that maybe heat is causing some throttling issues on this. I could be wrong. It's just a random, uneducated guess. But the other results were kind of surprising too. Uh, and I'll give you a spoiler here and just let you know that the SanDisk outperformed in both read as well as write. And you're going to see that in just a moment here. Again, nothing super scientific, just me popping them in my switch. I will say the cards and all of these tests are completely formatted, nothing on them. And as far as when you see games loading up, that's the only game that I put on each one of these cards because I wanted to make it like an even level playing field. I didn't want, let's say, this card to have like 10 games on it. This one only has two and it skews the results. So they are identical in that regard. And the SanDisk came out ahead in all of my tests. Now, here's the deal. Realistically, if you're not doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two, you're not going to see a difference. You just won't. But why do I share this with you? Well, it's to basically say, I mean, if you were in a store or somewhere and you saw both of these side by side and they were the same price, this video might sway you in one way or the other based on my findings. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the samples that I've captured. I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe even provide insight if some of you are a bit better at understanding this stuff than I am as to why is it? that the SanDisk is performing better than the Lexar. But also, why is the SanDisk showing 9 gigs of less storage? So let me know in the comments down below. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Rune Factory. Guardians of Azuma. Guardians of Azuma. And no, I am not a Wally. Okay, let's go, partner. We're off to save Azuma.